plant is a living thing. It has many parts that work together to support its life. A plant has roots, then leaves, flowers, and fruit. The roots of a plant hold the plant firmly to the ground. The root hairs absorb water and minerals that the plant needs from the soil. Some roots are storage roots, where plant food is stored as starch. Examples of storage roots are carrots and beets. The stem of the plant holds the branches up so that the leaves can receive sunlight. The stem also contains water carrying tubes and food carrying tubes. The water carrying tube transports water absorbed by the roots to the other leaves. The food carrying tubes transport plant food produced at the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Food is converted into energy by a process called respiration. Energy is needed to keep the plant alive. The leaf contains a green substance called chlorophyll, which traps light energy from the sun to make plant food. There are tiny soles on the leaf called stomata, which are like breathing holes for the plant. Carbon dioxide taken in by the stomata and water from the roots are used to make plant food using the light energy from the sun. This food making process is called photosynthesis. Oxygen is given out through the stomata when photosynthesis takes place in the plant. The flower is a reproductive part of the plant. Most flowers contain both male and female parts. The anther produces pollen grains which contain male reproductive cells. The stigma is usually sticky to trap pollen. When a pollen grain lands on the stigma, the male reproductive cell inside the pollen grain can fuse with the female reproductive cell in the ovary of the flower. When that happens, the flower will develop into fruits with seeds and petals on the flower are usually brightly coloured to attract insects to help pollination. The fruit protects the seed inside. When the fruits are ripe, the seeds are dispersed. When the conditions are right, the seeds will germinate and develop into new plants.